Yo, what up? Today we're gonna be reacting to y'all. Y'all, y'all have seen it, right? You're on TikTok. You hear someone go, "I remember when, I remember when I lost my mind," and they do that riff. And then there's the one where that one girl goes, "Oh!" I've had someone compile for me the best crazy riffs on TikTok. We're gonna jump into them. We're gonna talk about how to do them, hopefully, because I actually really haven't worked on it. Okay, what do we got here? I remember, I remember when I lost my mind. Oh! There was something so pleasant about that place. Clean. When your emotions had an echo in so much space. Really nice runs. I think I can break this one down for you. I remember when, I remember, I remember this particular when I lost riff. My okay. There was something so pleasant about that place. That one was a, like a little bit flowy, huh? I'm so jealous of all these TikTok singers who just have dungeons they can sing in. I wish I had a dungeon. Hey, it's Rackle. Actually, people come for this girl all the time. That actually wasn't bad. It's not the best one in this compilation, probably, but it definitely wasn't a bad attempt. I think she hit most of the notes. I think what's particularly challenging about this riff is not necessarily the notes, but the registration, right? Where's chest voice begin? Where does the head voice begin? And then the vowel kind of gives it a little bit of a, anyway, we're going to talk about that in a minute. Emotions in your neck go in so much space. Okay. I remember when, I remember, I remember when I lost my mind. Oh. Ooh, something so crazy about this place. Even your emotions have an echo. It's so much space. What I think is entertaining about this, I'm pretty sure the girl on the left, she sounds like she actually has a good voice, but she's pretending not to. The dude on the right, I think he's doomed. <laughs> oh. Oh. I like all the different ways that people have done this so far. This girl like kind of flicked the, the last note at the end. That was something so pleasant about that place. I love her vibrato too. Her tone is really great. Oh! What the hell? I think Ariana Grande just infested that girl's body. She killed that. Very easy, effortless way of singing this. Oh! <laughs> if you know what that is, you know what it is. That's the intro to like the most popular karaoke channel on YouTube. Always has the same weird, slimy worm intro. I don't like it. I wish that they would take that shit out. All right, wait for it to start. I remember when, I remember, I remember when I lost my mind. Oh, she's gonna mind. mess it up. <laughs> that was compilation's good. I remember when, I remember, I remember when I lost my mind. Oh. We got. I gotta find one to break down. Because what actually is interesting is a lot of what they're doing after the run. I think is more difficult than the run itself. But maybe I'm wrong. I love her hair. Drop the routine, sis. This part's the tough part. Oh Especially because ah, it's just so, the way that everyone's singing is so effortless. Ooh. Yes. I remember when, I remember, I remember when I lost my mom. Slay. Ooh. <laughs> this one is so pleasant about that place. Even your emotions are not go in so much space. All right, we're, we're taking way too long to get to the one that started the trend. All right, this is the OG. I've seen this shit pop up in my feed so many times. I've actually been following these two for quite a long time. So we're gonna break down the riff as well. <laughs> what I think is actually so funny about this is the caption. It literally, we had done so many takes, I wasn't prepared. They've done so many takes with the girl in the back just dancing. <laughs> Moving and dancing. Girl in the front is like, oh, please, go, 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 go. Girl in the back seems like legitimately shocked. Oh, 
I'm going to give you my cheat sheet for learning runs, okay? 99% of the time, the thing that people fuck up with runs is they make it way more difficult than it actually is. When someone is trying to get a run and they're fucking it up, they're doing more notes than are actually in the run. You got to slow it down. Read time. 50%. It's actually only six notes. Those are the notes. Yeah. Most people, in my experience, as long as you're like decent singers, you can pick this up pretty, pretty quick. There's some people out there who are freaks of nature who could probably just like wing it off the bat. The rest of us cannot, which is why I'm super happy that I'm partnered today with the Better Internet Initiative, which I think is so cool because it's an organization that's basically giving money to me to remind you guys that arts education is really, really, really important. In fact, 91% of Americans believe that arts are vital to providing a well-rounded education. Students with a high arts participation, who whose families don't make a lot of money, to be frank with you, are five times less likely to drop out than other students in a similar socioeconomic position. If it weren't for music in my life and music in the school that I was going to, there's a good chance I would have had to repeat my senior year <laughs> at the very least. Not to mention that because arts funding is so low, this is just my view now. A lot of times the singing education in choirs is not really up to par in my opinion, which is why you've turned to my videos, my YouTube videos for knowledge and information about how to do these runs probably because the information is just not accessible. It's not even that hard to understand. And it's sad because these days, you know, being a singer is a more viable career path than it ever has been before. So all I really ask of you is that you pay attention to this issue as education in our country in general is not doing great. And the arts are very important. So when it comes time to vote, maybe it's something that you think about. All right, let's jump back into the TikToks. <laughs> I know that's what you're here for. This challenge, but an octave up. I remember when, hey. I remember, I remember when I lost my mind. Oh, that's pretty. There was nothing so pleasant about that game. See, that run at the end was insane. What the hell? The other thing is like ascending runs sound. I remember when, Hold on. I remember, I remember when I lost my mind. I love her, by the way. Oh, I wanted more. My I watch like everything she posts. No way. I remember, I remember when I lost my. Mind. Oh, that was <laughs> Not bad. That was actually impressive. So I've seen some videos of some kids doing some crazy stuff. I oh, when, I. I remember, I remember when I lost my. my yeah, it was always so pleasant to battle the I'm. You're making me dizzy, dude. I'm also. I feel like he's about to hit me in the face. Holy shit. He sounds like he, it's insane. His voice is insane though. <laughs> what the heck is this? Uh, there's one person back there who just destroyed their voice. I heard that. I remember when I was my mind. Oh! I didn't think he was going to slay, and then he slayed. Oh my god, that's such a wild falsetto. Whoa! That person, that, that voice is, is incredible. It's my turn. Alright. I remember when, I remember, I remember when I lost my mind. Yes! Oh my god. Oh, I did it. Oh my god. I remember when, I remember, I remember when I lost this, my mind. This guy's gonna slay it. Hey! There was always so much in the thunder play. Oh my god, the distortion. Hey! Anyway, there's something about an ascending run that sounds more impressive than a descending run. I think probably because they're less common. I think also ascending runs are generally, for some reason, a little bit more tricky. I think with descending runs, you can kind of relax a little bit. Like, um, running through my darkest night. <laughs> Whatever that run is. Darkest night. I don't know the run. Like, I don't know the individual notes, but you know what I'm saying, right? Like some runs, you can just kind of, eh, it's like a waterfall. And when the pitch is decreasing, you can kind of release. You can relax and physically 
there's less tension that's required for low notes than for high notes. So there's a relaxation that go takes place when you're doing a descending run. When you're doing an ascending run, not only do you need to worry about the notes, but you also have to increase the tension as the pitch increases. That's why I think ascending runs are a little bit more tricky than descending runs. I remember, I remember when I lost my mind. I think that's part of why this trend uh, there's something so special about that place. popped off. Even though emotions had to let go, it's so much space. Oh my God. <laughs> All right. I remember when, I remember, I remember when I lost my mind. Hey! Well, there was something so pleasant about that place. Even your emotions have an echo. I get that it's a trend to like act shocked, but I don't think that a lot of these singers are actually genuinely shocked. <laughs> I think a lot of them know damn well they're, they can, they're more than capable of hitting this riff. I remember when, I remember, I remember when I lost my mind. Woo! There's something so pleasant about that place. Even when you're hey. let go, there's so much space. Oh. Dude, that guy's voice is actually incredible. I think they both are actually singers. They're fine with us. I think that's the other tricky part about it. Okay, I mentioned the registration earlier, which I can maybe talk about in a little bit more detail, but also the vowel changes. Because notice the vowel at the beginning. She's ma, ma. ma. There's like a, a subtle shift towards an E as the pitch is ascending, which is kind of giving it that auto tuned sound effect because that's part of what autotune kind of does is it fracks with the vowel i think that's also a big part of what makes some runs pop because i can go mind if i keep the vowel the same it just doesn't have the same hit doesn't have the same impact part of like the challenge here is actually changing the vowel but yeah you take a listen oh my, there was something so pleasant about that place Ooh. the airy tone there <laughs> i love when people are actually happy that they hit it oh <laughs> oh there's not even an attempt at the run but i love that they recreated the outfits <laughs> oh he's actually got some like nice open belts there oh you know what i actually think it's not easy to sound good so close to the phone it's like it's easy to be too loud and like you overwhelm the phone it can also be like a little bit difficult to like balance the uh sound of your voice to the sound of the instrumental track behind you i don't know maybe it's just me you guys let me know in the comments below if you think it's more difficult to sing with the phone close to your face But this dude has like an ability to sing like at a relatively moderate volume, which really helps him out. Some of these people need to be careful. That run went in the wrong direction. It went down at some point. Even your emotion had an echo. It's so much Okay, that that la that last one was it kind of it, you know, it it popped off a bit. Oh, better pray to Jesus it comes out. I remember when I remember I remember when I lost my mind. Oh, wait. There was something so pleasant of that. I like that one too. That this one is a little bit different in that he has it's like a little bit of like a ma like a little bit of like a flutter as he goes up. I liked it. I remember when James I remember, Arthur. I remember when I lost my mind. There was something so pleasant about that place. Ooh. Even your emotions had an echo. So much spit. His eyelashes are just not fair. But okay, let's um let's take a second to break this one down then. So the two well, let's say the three tricky bits. Getting the right notes. We've kind of already established that. Number two. 
getting the val change. Number three, the one we haven't talked about is the register transition. And everybody does it a little bit differently, but most of the time there is a transition of some sort from chest to falsetto as it goes up. So in this instance, Lost my mind. he actually shifts immediately. My mind. Like immediately. My. And notice the subtle, the, the, the vowel changes that goes up is what gives it the auto-tuned sounding flavor. Doesn't matter what vowel you shift it to. But anyway, those are the, those are the most difficult parts. If we go to the original version, I'll show you where she shifts as well. Somewhere around here, you can hear the little bit of like a yodel. And that's her uh, pretty abrupt transition into falsetto. That yodel sound also makes it sound kind of auto-tuned. <laughs> Very impressive sounding, to be honest with you. Definitely takes a lot of practice. I remember when, I remember, I remember when I lost my mind. Bruh. It's just not fair. Some people get to be handsome, blinged out, and can sing. And then there's me. <laughs> what? Whoa. Why did he do that at the end? Dude, this guy was insane though. What did he hit? He must have belted like a C5 at the end there. Why does this guy look so familiar? There was something so pleasant about the place. Did he? He didn't really move towards that E on that run, did he? Kind of an exception in this. But shows that the vowel is not necessarily needed. But it does definitely help. It's the same girl! <laughs> that, that doesn't count, that was a descending run. You know, to be honest, I'm grateful that someone did it a little bit differently. I think the girl on the left just wanted to go home. <laughs> I know her though, that's Lauren Spencer Smith, right? <laughs> She's like, I I'm trying to go home. <laughs> Oh, she had a little bit of a growl. She brought up her chest voice, I think, a little bit higher than um, we've heard in a lot of these examples. Oh my god! She's so, she was so like belty and smooth and loud and powerful. Here we go. She's, she's gonna kill it. I love her. There was something so pleasant about that place. There's something so there's something so satisfying about that run. It sounds like it's a balloon inflating almost. Here we go. I remember when I remember I remember when I lost my No. Oh no, I broke my earbuds. These are expensive. I always break them. <laughs> hey. Oh, something so pleasant about that place. That's the place where you want to be, to be completely honest with you, where you've practiced something so many times that you can just lay down and you're not even trying and you can do it. Of course, she's not like belting, so it takes a little bit less energy than if she were like full out belting it. But really, that's what it comes down to when it comes to these runs. And what I recommend when someone is practicing or trying to learn a run, you memorize the notes and then you repeat it to yourself over and over and over all throughout the day, all throughout the week, as long as it takes for you doing the run to be as easy as as easy as breathing, to be honest with you, because that's kind of where she's at. And the more you repeat it, the more you practice it, the more it just becomes muscle memory and it just feels like floating. Hey, Anthony! Hey! I think you just put out a song too. Y'all should stream it. I think it's really good. He has one of the best voices on TikTok as well. I love her! What up, Sammy? Hey! Oh 
my god she's gotten so good she's gotten insanely good i love the creative take on that she she went so many directions with that song that i didn't really see coming she kind of just elevated it but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed my video thank you so much for watching it it was so fun i love doing these types of tiktok reaction videos so if you liked it as well be sure you drop a like on the video it helps out a lot and check me out over on tiktok as well i think I'm going to be posting like a little bit of a run tutorial over there where I go into a little bit more detail, maybe with some graphs and charts on how to do this particular run if anyone wants more information. But yeah, that's all I got for you today. Until next time, Tristans. Queen Cat? Antris from! I can't believe I forgot Queen Cat. Lost my mind. I forgot the notes already.